Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm privileged to be joined by Dr. Ken Johnson. Dr. Johnson has been the Executive Dean of Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine since the summer of 2012. In addition to his duties as Executive Dean, in January 2018, Dr. Johnson was chosen to also serve as Chief Medical Affairs Officer for Ohio University. Nationally, he is active in educational policy and holds numerous leadership roles within the osteopathic medical profession. I'm curious, how did you get in, involved in, um, in the medical field? Uh, what was your pathway to becoming a doctor and, uh, and specifically in osteopathic medicine as well? Yeah, you know, I, I think I was always really interested in health and, and wellness. Um, this will date me a little bit, but my, my, my mom bought us the, like, the Encyclopedia Britannica, and I was always, always really interested in anatomy and physiology and things like that, which I think sparked my interest in, in health and wellness. Um, and um, then really wanted to become a physician. Um, I, I grew up in Massachusetts. I didn't really know much about osteopathic medicine. And then um, after graduating from undergrad, discovered on osteopathic medicine and the philosophy and the approach was right up my alley. It was absolutely what I believed in, what I wanted to do. And that's what drew me to, to osteopathic medicine and to you know, eventually what I'm doing here now. What uh, advice do you have to early stage healthcare professionals, your students, um, about uh, dealing with the current crisis uh, as well as the long term prospects of a career in healthcare? Um, when I was orienting our new first year students, actually before they came in, I, I said that we are now literally, as opposed to figuratively, training you for your profession the day you walk in the door. You know, so I mean, all of, all of our students are coming in with. With masks, social distancing, on you know, washing hands, on et cetera. So, on um, my goal for the medical school, in general, uh, was that we operate regardless of the environment around us, and that we're training our students for the healthcare environment as they enter medical school. You know, one of the things that I strongly, strongly encourage our students to do. We have a great relationship, and I try to have them give us feedback as they are walking through the process. They have on great ideas on about how to on evolve things, how to work on things. And I challenge every single class that comes in to give us the feedback to improve the process on for them. One of the first things we did was on, we had a training on, on how to use the electronic health record. And the students said, would you mind if we redid this for you? Cause we think we could do it better. Uh, and they, from there on out, we used their training cause they, um, they were an end user an earlier adopter, and, And um, I really believe that um, if we can figure out how to tap the potential um, that we do that. So I guess my advice would don't be shy um, in giving your um, respectful feedback um, as as you're walking through the program. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.